Peter H. Diamandis, born May 20th, 1961, in the Bronx, New York City, New York, United States, is a Greek-American engineer, physician, and entrepreneur best known for being founder and chairman of the X Prize Foundation, co-founder and executive chairman of Singularity University, and co-author of the New York Times bestsellers Abundance, The Future is Better Than You Think, and Bold, How to Go Big, Create Wealth, and Impact the World. He is former CEO and co-founder of the Zero Gravity Corporation, co-founder and vice chairman of Space Adventures Limited, founder and chairman of the Rocket Racing League, co-founder of the International Space University, co-founder of Planetary Resources, co-founder of Cellularity, founder of Students for the Exploration and Development of Space, and vice chairman and co-founder of Human Longevity, Inc. Contents. Section 1, Early Life. Section 2, Career. Section 3, Books. Section 4, Boards. Section 5, Additional Notable Achievements. Section 6, Awards and Recognition. Section 7, Notes. And Section 8, External Links. Section 1. Early Life Diamandis was born in the Bronx, New York City. His parents, both Greek immigrants, were in the medical business. His father was a physician. From a very early age, Diamandis expressed a keen interest in space exploration. At age 8, he began giving lectures on space to his family and friends. At age 12, Diamandis won first place in the Estes rocket design competition for building a launch system able to simultaneously launch three rockets. After graduating from Great Neck North High School in 1979, Demandus attended Hamilton College for his first year, then transferred to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology to study biology and physics. During his second year at MIT in 1980, Demandus co-founded Students for the Exploration and Development of Space. Demandus graduated from MIT in 1983 with a B.S. in Molecular Genetics. He then entered Harvard Medical School to pursue his M.D. During his second year of medical school, he co-founded the Space Generation Foundation to promote projects and programs that would help the space generation, all those born since the flight of the Sputnik, get off the planet. During his last year of medical school in 1989, Diamandis was acting as a managing director of the International Space University and CEO of International Microspace, a microsatellite launch company. In 1986, Diamandis put his medical degree on hold and returned to MIT to pursue a master's degree in aeronautics and astronautics, conducting research at NASA Johnson Space Center the MIT MAN Vehicle Laboratory and MIT's Whitehead Biomedical Institute. After completing his MS at MIT, Demandis returned to Harvard, completing his MD. Section 2. Career 2.1. International Space University In 1987, during his third year of medical school, Demandis co-founded International Space University with Todd Hawley, Walter Anderson, and Robert Richards. Demandis served as the managing director and chief operating officer of the university until 1989. Today, ISU offers a space studies program and two accredited Master of Space Studies degrees. It has grown into a 30 million university campus headquartered in Strasbourg, France. 2.2 International Microspace Inc. Demandis co founded Microsoft Launch Systems, later renamed International Microspace Inc., in 1989 during his fourth year of medical school and served as the company's CEO. IMI designed a small launcher called Orbital Express for taking 100 kilogram payloads to low Earth orbit, collaborating with Bristol Aerospace for the manufacture. The company won a $100 million 
SDIO contract for one launch plus nine options and was sold to CTA Inc. of Rockville, MD in 1993 for $250,000. The man does join CTA for one year as Vice President of Commercial Space Programs post-acquisition. 2.3. Constellation Communications In 1991, Diamandis founded Constellation Communications Inc., one of five low-Earth orbit satellite constellations for voice telephony. The company was funded to deploy an equatorial ring of 10 satellites to provide communications primarily to Brazil and Indonesia. Constellation was sold to E-Systems and Orbital. Diamandis remained director until 1993. 2.4 XPRIZE Foundation In 1994, Diamandis founded the XPRIZE Foundation after the failure of International Microspace Inc. and reading Charles Lindbergh's The Spirit of St. Louis. He serves as chairman and CEO of the foundation. XPRIZE was created to fund and operate a $10 million incentive competition intended to inspire a new generation of private passenger carrying spaceships. The prize was announced on May 18, 1996 in St. Louis, without any purse money or any teams. The prize was ultimately funded through an insurance policy underwritten by Anushe and Hamid Ansari family and renamed the Ansari X Prize in their honor. The $10 million competition attracted 26 teams from 7 countries as teams and was won on October 4, 2004 by Mujari Aerospace Ventures team run by famed aviation designer Bert Rutan and funded by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen. The winning vehicle, Spaceship One, was piloted to space twice within two weeks to win the competition. The first flight was made on September 29, 2004, piloted by Mike Melville, and the winning second flight was made on October 4, 2004 by pilot Brian Binney. Spaceship One was the world's worst non-government piloted spacecraft and is now hanging in the National Air and Space Museum adjacent to the Spirit of St. Louis aircraft. In January 2005, the XPRIZE Foundation Board of Trustees expanded the focus of the XPRIZE to address four different group areas. Exploration, oceans and space, life sciences, energy and environment, and education and global development. Since inception, the foundation has launched the $10 million Anzari X Prize, the $10 million Automotive X Prize, the $10 million Archon X Prize, the $30 million Google Lunar X Prize, the $10 million Qualcomm Tricoder X Prize, the $2 million Lunar Lander Challenge, the $1.4 million Wendy Schmidt Oil Cleanup X Challenge, and the Wendy Schmidt Ocean Health X Prize. In May 2012, the Robin Hood Foundation announced its plans to partner with the XPRIZE Foundation for several New York-based challenges targeted at eradicating poverty. The XPRIZE Foundation has a staff of approximately 50 individuals and is headquartered in Culver City, California. It boasts an all-star board of trustees including Larry Page, Elon Musk, James Cameron, Dean Kamen, Ratan Tata, Ray Kurzweil, Jim Giannopoulos, Naveen Jain, Ariana Huffington, Will Wright, and Craig Venter. 2.5 Zero Gravity Corporation In 1994, Diamandis co-founded Zero-G with Byron Lichtenberg and Ray Cronus. The space entertainment company offers weightless experiences aboard its FAA-certified Boeing 727 aircraft and provides NASA with parabolic flight services for research, education and training. The company has flown over 10,000 customers. In 2007, physicist Stephen Hawking experienced eight rounds of weightlessness on a zero-g flight. Demand has said that the successful outcome of that flight was proof that everyone can participate in the type of weightless experience. He would recount the experience of taking Dr. Hawking into the upper atmosphere at TET 2008. 2.6 Angel Technologies Corporation. Between 1995 and 1999, Diamandis was the president of Angel Technologies Corporation, a commercial communications company that developed wireless broadband communication network. 2.7 Space Adventures Limited. 
Founded in 1998, Space Adventures is a space tourism company that has flown eight private customer missions to the International Space Station since 2001. Demandis is the co-founder and vice chairman of Space Adventures. 2.8 Blastoff Corporation Between 2000 and 2001, Demandis was the CEO of Blastoff Corporation, which proposed to fly a private rover mission to land on the moon as a mix of entertainment, internet and space. The company lost funding and ceased business in 2001. 2.9 Rocket Racing League In 2005, Diamandis co-founded the Rocket Racing League. Developed as a cross between indie car racing and rockets, it envisioned enabling the public to enjoy speed, rockets and competitive spirits. Diamandis was the chairman of RRL until it ceased business. 2.10 Singularity University. In 2008, alongside American author, inventor and futurist Ray Kurzweil, Diamandis co-founded Singularity University. Today Diamandis serves as the university's co-founder and executive chairman. SU is an interdisciplinary university with the mission to assemble, educate and inspire a cater of leaders who strive to understand and facilitate the development of exponentially advancing technologies to address humanity's grand challenges. With the support of a broad range of leaders in academia, business and government, SU hopes to stimulate groundbreaking, disruptive thinking and solutions aimed at solving some of the planet's most pressing challenges. SU is based on the NASA Ames campus in Silicon Valley and supported by a number of corporate founders and partners, including Google, Autodesk, Cisco, Nokia, Kaufman Foundation, and ePlan Adventures. The university runs a 10-week graduate studies program, a 7-day executive program, and a 5-day exponential medicine conference. 2.11 Planetary Resources Inc. In April 2012, Diamandis co-founded Planetary Resources Inc., an organization dedicated to the identification, remote sensing and processing of near-Earth approaching asteroids with Eric Anderson. Billionaire investors include Google's Eric Schmidt and Larry Page, as well as Ross Perrot Jr. and Charles Zimoni. Advisors include filmmaker and explorer James Cameron and several renowned scientists. 2.12 Human Longevity Inc. In March 2014, Demand has co-founded Human Longevity Inc. HLI a genomics and cell therapy-based diagnostic and therapeutic company focused on extending the healthy lifespan with Craig Venter and Robert Hariri. He also has supported SENS Research Foundation, a non-profit organization that seeks to treat and cure the diseases of aging by repairing the underlying damage caused by aging. 2.13 Cellularity In February 2018, the Amanda has launched Cellularity with Bob Hariri. It is a biotechnology company productizing allergenic cells and tissues derived from the postpartum placenta. These materials have the ability to augment our immunity and longevity by amplifying the body's ability to fight disease, heal and regenerate itself. It is the first company to own and deploy the full value chain from sourcing placenta stem cells to patient treatment. Section 3. Books In 2012, alongside Stephen Kotler, the Amandas co-authored Abundance, The Future is Better Than You Think. The non-fiction work discusses the potential for exponential technology and three other emerging market forces to significantly raise global standards of living within the next 25 years. Abundance was well received. It was the number two on the New York Times bestseller list and remained on the list for nine weeks. It was number one on the non-fiction bestseller lists of Amazon and Barnes and Noble. At the 2014 Clinton Global Initiative, former US President Bill Clinton recommended abundance to readers as an antidote to negative news. In 2015, again alongside Stephen Kotler, Demandis co-authored another New York Times bestselling book, Bold, How to Go Big, Create Wealth and Impact the World. 
This nonfiction book provides an analysis and instruction for entrepreneurs interested in learning about exponential technologies, moonshot thinking, and crowdsourcing. Section 4. Boards. Demanda serves on the following boards. XPRIZE, Board of Trustees, Planetary Resources, Inc., Singularity University, International Space University, Space Adventures Limited, Intellius, Rocket Racing League, Coxwell Polytechnical College, Human Longevity Inc., Hyperloop Technologies, Students for the Exploration and Development of Space, Abundance 360. Section 5. Additional Notable Achievements Served as CEO of Desktop.tv, a spin-off company of Blastoff, designed to provide a global peer-to-peer television network for broadcasting unique content to the desktop. Served as chairman of Starport.com, an internet channel for space exploration for kids of all ages. The site represents over 20 astronauts and features space heroes, missions and simulations. Sold to Space.com. Co-founded and served as director of the Space Generation Foundation, a non-profit organization established in 1985 to create an all-people born since the advent of the space age on October 4th, 1957, a sense of identity and awareness that they are born as members of a space-airing race. The foundation supports numerous educational and research projects. Founded Spacefair in 1983. Space Fair is a national space conference that was hosted by MIT in 1983, 1985, and 1987. Was a key subject in the 2007 documentary film Orphans of Apollo. Is the New York Times bestselling author of Abundance. Is a member of the Exconomist, an ad hoc team of editorial advisors for the tech news and media company Exconomy. Section 6. Awards and Recognition 1983 MIT John Asinari Award for Outstanding Undergrad Life Sciences Research 1984 MIT William L. Stewart Jr. Award for the Founding of SEDS 1985-1986 Harvard Medical School Student Research Grant American Heart Association 1986-1987 Biomedical Research Support Grant supported by the NIH 1986 Space Industrialization Fellowship presented by the Space Foundation 1988 Aviation Week and Space Tech Laurel in recognition of founding ISU 1993 Space Frontiers Foundation Pioneers Award Presented for cumulative work done in the commercialization and development of the space field. 1995 Konstantin E. Tsiolkovsky Award, presented by the Russian government for the creation of ISU. 1996 Special Merit Award, presented by the National Space Society for outstanding work done by space pioneers under the age of 40. 2003 World Technology Award, presented by the World Technology Council. 2005, Doctorate of Space Achievement, Honoris Causa, by ISU. 2006, Neil Armstrong Award for Aerospace Achievement and Leadership. 2006, Lindbergh Award. 2006, Wired Rave Award. 2006, Neil Armstrong Award for Aerospace Achievement and Leadership. 2006, Inaugural Heinlein Prize for Advances in Space Commercialization 2007 Arthur C. Clarke Award for Innovation and 2010 Economist No Boundaries Innovator of the Year